grandpa here. Well, let's put some far ground uh, in our painting today. And also, I have a little question for you that I need some input on. So let's head on over to Easel, get going, and uh, see what we can do. I'll meet you there. And here we are. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to work right in this area in these hills. It's necessary to get some dark in to see how light this really is. So, in order to make it nice and dark, I'm going to start out with Payne's Gray. Okay. That's kind of a blue black. Okay. Just like that, we get some Payne's Gray. We're going to take some Alizarian Crimson, okay, because I want this, I want there to be a red tone to this, okay. We can always darken it later if we need to. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're just going to come in here just like this. Okay, and we're just going to pull some of this across like this, like that. Okay, now we're just going to come down, come down here, because this is, this will be the, the reflection. We'll, we will put a shoreline in for sure, but this is just blocking it in, just like this, okay? Just like this, okay? And this is going to dry lighter, so we're going to end up darkening it, but at least we have... A beginning to it okay now there's something that I want to bring up one of the one of the uh, viewers said all of this looked a little bit wonky and I want your opinion do you want me to continue with it like this so you can see the mixing as well as the painting or do you want me to go back to just looking flat at the painting you let me know in the comments okay because this is all about you making it easiest for you so be with me tomorrow and uh, Remember that I love you, I love you, I love you. Mm -hmm.